Hello! Welcome to another episode of the show where I have Bible answers to every relationship question. On today's episode, I'm asking a question that came uh, to me directly, just like, you know, but really can I have your perspective on complaining, nagging, and the impact of that on communication in marriage? It's a question I'm glad to answer because uh, for a lot of couples in the 21st century, uh, communication is on the downward spiral. Communication hasn't been the best for many people and most of the issues they have in their marriage can be traced back to communication issues. Now many people who think that do not nag also actually have fallen for nagging without knowing all right, or complaining. One of the easiest things that happens in an adult life is complain. I mean, adults complain literally for a living without knowing uh, that they are given to complaining. We once ran a challenge on a couples forum uh, where we asked people not to complain for uh, 24 hours. And uh, people kept coming back to the group to say how difficult it was not to complain. And we realized in that process and that exercise uh, the people were given to complaining predominantly so that they realized that they didn't have a normal day like their normal day just because they didn't have the right to complain and it was such a tough and difficult 24 hours but the exercise revealed to us that an average adult actually complains for a living today so it's so important to arrest these things and realize that no matter how good you feel you're doing, you may not be doing as well as you think if you're not paying attention to how much you're complaining. And let me say this to you, sometimes you, you go home uh, to your partner and you realize that you arrive with so much complaint from the door you're already complaining. So complaining has become so common and normal. All right, and I'm gonna say this for perspective. Complaining and nagging is how most marriages are drained of their strength. I mean, it's a common source of drain in marriages. Complaining and murmuring, nagging, is how most partners get drained and the marriage itself, you know, drains. And you know, the deal is, you cannot continually be in love with a person who complains. That's the problem. You know, you come to the point where you become tired. You become tired, you become essentially frustrated uh, they are complaining all right so i'm going to give like four or five principles in this video just to help you uh, manage the situation and i invite you to complain all right number two replace complaining with constructive conversation so i'm just going to share from the note in essence hold your emotions gather your thoughts until you are able to present them in a respectful and conversational manner. All right, you need to gather your emotion. All right, you need to hold your emotion and gather your thoughts. Until you are able to do that, you are not positioned to have a conversation. And this, has, this is the undoing of many marriages. See, speaking your mind as you feel it has never helped any marriage. All right, it comes to the point where you are able to gather your thoughts. You are able to, you know, hold your emotion until you're able to make conversational conversations, you are not ready for constructive conversation. All right, so what, 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 what's a conversational conversation or constructive conversation? Conversation that leaves room for your partner to speak and conversation that suggests you're ready to listen. So you don't just throw conclusions at them, you don't just throw assumptions at them, you don't just have an outburst on them. It's so important to understand that until this is the case, what we have is we have destruction, a decline in the marriage relationship. All right, number three point I'm going to make is raising your voice, suppressing their talk, raining insult, and winning an argument is how you lose the marriage. I'm going to read that straight from my note. Raising your voice, suppressing their talk, raining insult, and winning the argument is how you lose your marriage. All right, so marriage cannot succeed if you keep winning. That's the truth. You're now in the same boat. The moment you create a winning situation, and it's not a win-win for both of you when there's misunderstanding or disagreement, what you have is that you are creating a partition in the marriage, and no marriage can survive the partition. Don't forget what I always say. 
none of you is as important as both of you in that marriage. It's so important to note that. And until you know that, you keep making mistakes. All right, point number four. Your partner will give you enough reasons to complain and nag. Don't fall for that setup. Why? They are imperfect enough. So if you want reasons to complain and nag, you have it. I'm telling you. So as they struggle to change or appear not to improve in areas that you complain about, turn to grace. You need the grace of God. Because it's the grace of God who will enable you, number one, to be patient. Number two, to pray for them. Number three, you know, to wait on them as they make adjustments. And number four, to make constructive conversations that informs them of the need to change, that is conversational enough to get them to think than to knock them down. Because what a lot of people do is they are no longer communicating with grace. So what happens is they are nagging their partner to a point where their partner becomes even worse. All right, because nobody changes just because you nagged at them. The fifth point and the last I'll make in this video is talk to a counselor or a spiritual leader. There are points you come to that you need counsel. The Bible says in the multi of counsel, there is safety. There are times that it becomes difficult to address the issue just by yourself. And one of the things you want to achieve at that moment is to speak to someone who is able to encourage you, who is able to help you, who is able to help you process your thoughts in the process. All right, so these points are so key to understand. In, in, in other episodes of this show, I've dealt with communication, strictly speaking, and you need to know more about communication. So I invite you, if you're not subscribed to this channel, you should be subscribed. Turn on the notification bell, get our videos uh, right as they drop, Invite other people by sharing the videos and we are open to support as we take the ministry of the gospel from nation to nation. All right. If you want to reach out to us for questions or support, the email address right on your screen is the right thing to click or the right thing, you know, to follow. I will be glad to respond to you. Once again, Ochelio Kutepa is my name. God bless you.